Hey guys, this is Luke Sievers with One Nine Productions, here for all your music production needs, as well as graphic design and website development. Feel free and check out our website at one nine productionscom and you can get some beats there and check out our other services. So uh, today we're actually going to be talking about how to export or to uh, extract audio from a video if you're using iMovie 10.0, which is part of the Mavericks operating system. Now, the problem I ran into is I couldn't figure out how to do it in iMovie, and it didn't seem like anybody knew how to online as well. So let's open up iMovie real quick. So basically, in, in previous versions, what you could do was go to File, Share, and then click File again, Next. And then in this screen, typically there was a spot where you could actually select um, to save it as an audio file, but you can see there's nothing here. So we're going to assume that they maybe didn't build it into this version. But there is a way to do it. Um, it's unfortunately not in iMovie, but it's actually just as easy to do. Just in case you uh, found this video and you were actually wanting to learn how to detach audio from an individual video clip within your project, let me just show you that really quick. Um, all you do is select your audio clip here and then click on Detach Audio. It's that simple. But uh, we're going to undo. So let's watch a little bit of this video so you can get an idea for what's on it. Welcome to Radiant Purpose. Again, uh, my name is Simone, and the theme of this show and all these sessions Okay, so that's it. So what you want to do is we can actually go up to File and Share like we had done a moment ago. Export as a file. Click Next. And I'm going to save it on the desktop. So once your video is done being rendered, we're going to uh, get out of iMovie here and find your file wherever it is. So mine's here on the desktop. Now this is pretty cool. All you have to do is right click on it and click on encode selected video files. So you'll have several options here. You can actually do some different uh, resolutions, but we're actually just going to do audio only and then click continue. And here it is over here. Now it looks like it uh, renders it as an M4A audio file. Now in case you're wondering, it does import fine into GarageBand or to Logic. So that's pretty nice. So let's just kind of uh, play it real quick just so you can kind of hear that it worked. Welcome to Radiant Purpose. Again, uh, my name is Simone. There, so you can see it carried over all the audio from that whole video. So um, for me, I, I needed to do this because I wanted to um, go back and edit the uh, audio files in Logic. I wanted to um, EQ it a little bit, make it sound a little bit better. Um, so like I said, I couldn't find any way to do it online. But if you were able to find an even better way to do this, uh, please uh, mention it in the comments right below. I'm sure other people would be able to benefit from that. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, show us some love and hit the like button right below. Also, subscribe to our channel to get more video tutorials like this in the future. And don't forget to check us out on 19productions.com. Thanks again for watching. Bye.